Monday morning, I just got my brand new issue of the Journal of Light Construction. Who is this guy on the cover? What? Fluid applied, air barrier, bug sealing. I should go to the job and show this guy how to do it right. All right, so here's what we're doing. We got a critical joint between our concrete foundation and our wood framing. This is a joint that we want to air seal. We also want to water seal it and prevent this plywood from rotting in the future. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this, and I mentioned that in that article. Look for the link below to the article in the JLC. But let me show you how easy it is to use a fluid applied flashing for this situation. And oh, by the way, it's sprinkling, and this fluid applied flashing it actually cures with moisture, so this is no big deal that it's, that it's sprinkling right now. If this was wet, it'll still work. Hugely opposite if we were doing a tape or something that we needed to stick there from a roll. So here's what we're gonna do. We put the joint and seam filler in our sausage gun here. Now this has actually got done a little bit already, so I'm kinda catching up here a little bit. We're gonna gun it out in a couple stripes like this. Gun it right onto the plywood. You can see I've got the angled tip on here, so I prepped all this ahead of time. The nice thing about this angled tip is even though we're close to the ground, I can get right up under there. I can protect that bottom of the plywood. This makes it really easy to do. I'm just gonna gun it out. And then you saw my Leatherman Raptor earlier. It makes it really nice to cut these tips. Oh, it's raining now. So here's the beauty of this system. We're nice and airtight now. We're watertight. And we can really come back here with whatever we want. So if you're a traditional house wrap person, you're used to using a regular old house wrap, that'll work fine on this, no big deal. We can overlap that. But we've done a really good job of air sealing this critical joint. Now this is Prosico's system. Of course, you could come back with Prosico on top of this. That'd make a phenomenal air and water barrier. But you don't have to. This would be a good way to get kind of an intro to the system. Now we've got a stucco detail that's gonna overhang here fairly well. So I'm not super worried about it, but you can see I'm overhanging onto the concrete and foundation, inch and a half, two inches. I just used some of this 3M, or pardon me, Scotch brand tape. This is the kind that sticks really well to concrete. And then once this gets a little closer to drying, I'm just gonna peel that off. And now look, I've got this beautiful kind of rubberized base coat for the house. I've protected the plywood. Everything's nice and air sealed. We are not gonna get any bugs in here. We could overlap whatever we wanna use for a weather barrier later. This is a great way to kind of get an intro to a fluid applied, and you can see it's really easy to do. One tube is gonna probably get you about 20 or so linear feet in the foundation, so use that as a gauge. This is a really good way to air seal, guys. For more information, check out that link below for the article. Be sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got new videos coming out twice a week, every Tuesday for this Rogue Show and the Big Build Show on Fridays. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.